Plastic Ocean, The Evils of Plastic A single plastic bag can take up to a thousand years to degrade, and even after the bags break down, they are still toxic. This means that the first plastic bag, when they were first introduced in 1957, will still be in a landfill, not broken down, for around 960 more years. Another reason plastics are so harmful is the fact that plastics don't biodegrade, they photodegrade. This means that plastics break down into smaller pieces and soak up toxins. This affects different animals in marine life because they mistake the plastic for food. Then the plastic gets tangled in their digestive system. According to ecowatch.com, when sea turtles eat plastic, it blocks their digestive tract and the food that is trapped releases gases that render them buoyant and are unable to dive for food. Eliminating plastic will also save oil. Eleven barrels of oil are used to dispose of one ton of plastic bags. Right now, China is saving 37 million barrels of oil a year because they have a tax on plastic bags. Americans use about 380 billion plastic bags per year. To make that many bags, it takes about 12 million barrels of oil. This roughly translates that each American uses about 1,200 plastic bags a year. When this snapping turtle was little, a plastic ring got wrapped around its shell. As it grew, the growth of the shell was stunted because of the ring. This seal got a plastic coil wrapped around its neck, and as it grew, the coil cut through its skin. But what is the main cause of these hurt animals? It's the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. And don't let the name fool you, it's not great at all. It's all human waste. So what is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? This plastic island is swirling around in the North Pacific Ocean Gyre between Japan and California, and it's approximately twice the size of Texas. As you can see, the ocean gyres swirl around and anything that gets caught in the middle will stay in the middle unless somebody physically takes it out. Here you can see the accumulation of garbage and debris over many years. With all this plastic in the oceans, this famous painting now looks like this. And this will be what kids picture when they're singing this song. Row, row, row your boat. Now, it's not one country's fault, because every country uses plastic. But many places have banned plastic bags. Some places in America are Bethel and Hooper Bay, Alaska, over 81 cities in California, including San Francisco, Los Angeles, Santa Barbara, and Pasadena, Aspen, Boulder, Breckenridge, Carbondale, and Telluride in, Calif in Colorado, Westport, Connecticut, Washington, D.C., St. Augustine, Florida, all four islands of Hawaii, Marshall County, Iowa, Chestertown and Montgomery County, Maryland, Brooklyn, Great Barrington, Manchester, and Nantucket, Massachusetts, Santa Fe, New Mexico, East Hampton, Largemont, Maramanac, Rye, Southampton, and New York, towns, and towns also in North Carolina, Oregon, Texas, Rhode Island, and Washington. Places around the world that have banned plastic bags are Australia, Bangladesh, Cameroon, Chile, China, Haiti, India, Ireland, Italy, the Ivory Coast, Mali, Mauritania, Pakistan, the Philippines, Rwanda, South Africa, and Tanzania. Also, Wales have, has placed a five-pound minimum charge on each plastic bag. Help these defenseless animals around the world and choose to stop pollution. Do you really want this to be our legacy? what our grandkids think of when they think of us? Do you really just want to continue the cycle and leave this for the next generation?